No, we're not done yet. Trev's Hockey Show. I'm the Trev. That's too sweet. Anyway, <clears throat> I was going to talk about this next week, you know, after everything was said and done as far as the land auction in Arizona was concerned. And I really, I I wasn't going to talk positively about it because I didn't see it ending positively. Now it's not happening at all. As of yesterday, today is officially Saturday. So as of yesterday, Friday, June 21st, that, era, that, that piece of land that was apparently going to be the new home for the entity known as the Arizona Coyotes, that auction got canceled. And <laughs> the reasoning shouldn't surprise you. Let's talk about it. Now, I'm only referring to them as the entity known as the Arizona Coyotes because they are essentially an, an active brand. There's no team, there's no players, there's no management, just an owner who owns the name. And so it's not that I'm speaking negatively of them. It's that's essentially what they are at this point. And they're on a they're on a time crunch too. <laughs> might add but anyway the Arizona State Land Department decided to go ahead and cancel the auction that was supposed to take place on June 27th for something relatively simple something that actually owner Alex Morello knew about months in advance in a statement released by the ASLD they said that it's in the best interest of the trust that being Morello to cancel the auction and reorder the steps. They're asking him, or his development company, sorry, to acquire a special use permit, which is not unheard of in a lot of land developments. As a result, because they're requesting the applicant file prior to the auction, which affords the applicant and ASLD certainty that the applicant can build keyword being can build what it intends to build for its anchor tenant that being the coyotes and this is for zoning purposes where they want to put the land it has to be zoned specifically for this 110 acre development which is supposed to have the new arena so the short end of a long story is they need a zoning attorney essentially they they have intended and spoken through their intent on what they plan to build on this 110 acres, but without having, a, having it properly zoned and the paperwork to do it. That's a whole nother story, which is a whole nother setback as, you know, canceling this auction and not giving a new date yet is entirely dependent on how quickly the entity known as the Arizona Coyotes decides to get off their butts and get this thing zoned or get the special use permit for it. And I know how funny that sounds. Ask for a permit for land you don't own. But them's the brakes, kid. Now, of course, not understanding how things work, the entity known as the Arizona Coyotes released their own statement. And it's quite a funny read. So here's the first page of it. If you want to pause and read, go right ahead. But basically it's saying hey you guys are losing out on money this that the other all that fun stuff but really i want to focus on this line here state of arizona seriously jeopardizes the future of angel hockey returning to the desert does it jeopardize hockey in arizona any more than alex morello does or you know was this what was always going to happen all along will continue then there's the second page of it again if you want to pause and read go right ahead but the funniest part on this are exploring all our legal options given the short-sighted decision by the state i don't know if you can sue anybody based on your own forgetfulness or your own incompetence add what you want to there but <sighs> i don't know what to say on that one that's just bonehead. No, it's worth repeating. I know I've said this once or twice before. 
the entity known as the Arizona Coyotes, they're on a time limit. They have less than five years, under Morello, that is, to ice a team called the Arizona Coyotes and have an arena situated. And you got to think, an arena takes about two years to build. It gives you three years to work out a deal, and if it ain't happening by a third year, is it really going to happen? Again, is anybody surprised by this move? Because I'm not. <laughs> That's just my own personal opinion, but you yeah, know, I don't know if a team in Arizona was ever Morello's idea beyond this point. But like I said in the, one of the last Arizona videos I made, maybe it can work, just not with Morello. Again, is this any more of a threat to hockey not being in Arizona than Morello is? Because, yeah, no, it's. It's a lost cause, I think, at this point. And if they want to pursue another team in Arizona, by all means, sure. Just, just wait five years, at least. Let that window run out. But we'll see what happens. I mean, they have, again, released no makeup date for this auction. So who knows if it's going to happen again. But you know, I think it starts at 68 mil, and they want $100,000 bids in that increment for every bid. And... Last I heard, they were the only per, only group to build to bid on that piece of land. But I've also heard conflicting reports that there were four other different interests interested in that land. But you know, with this day and age of news, who do you really believe anymore, right? Either way, this should not come as a shock. Delay after delay after delay. For hockey work in Arizona, they need somebody not named Morello. They need somebody who can actually zone their land, build the arena, put a team together, and succeed. Not run it into the ground any more than it already had. But that's my own opinion. Let me know what you think on this whole thing. It's another one of them trips hockey shows. I want to thank you for tuning in. Don't think I don't appreciate the gesture, especially if you've made it to this point. And if you have, hey, I'm incredibly thankful you have. Consider giving me a thumbs up. You know, just let me know you're here. I mean, this is seven minutes, so hey, I'm glad I took up your time. Because, hey, I enjoy talking about stuff like this. If you want to, the red button that says subscribe all over it. If you haven't considered it yet, try considering it. It'd make me feel good. Make you feel good. it help the algorithm. So, why not? And we're on a mad dash to 500, so... Let's see if we can't make that happen. Go forward. Well, I was thinking of pumping out videos before Monday, but now I kind of have to. So look for some stuff coming down the pipe. But either way, in the meantime, and in between time, be looking for more videos from Trev. Later.